This as Grab shifts into high gear, set on becoming a super app that offers not just rides, but healthcare, payments, food delivery, hotel bookings, plane tickets, and more. Are you ready? Kasim Selamat, long time no see. You work for that e-hailing company, a uh, Grab, right? Eh, hey, can you tell me a little bit like how did it started or something? Why, I'll say, you are asking question out of nowhere. I just want to drink my coffee or nila. Hey, yeah. hey, you have many excuses lah, Kasim. Please tell us lah. Hey. Okay, la, okay. Why can't we have a safer way to hail a ride? Can't we give drivers better working conditions? What if we could make life just a little bit easier? These are the questions that started the idea of Grab. It led to a group of incredibly ambitious friends starting the company in a tiny rented storage space somewhere in Kuala Lumpur in 2012. Today, that tiny company has turned into one of Southeast Asia's largest mobile technology company that connects millions of consumers. They start from e-hailing to integrating with many big and small merchants and businesses. Eh hey Hussein, you know what all these companies' issues is? Staying relevant and not getting beaten by their competitors. <laughs> Grab also faced this issue, you know. Grab has competitors around Southeast Asia and one of them is Gojek. This Gojek fella has the same nature of business as Grab, so it is logical that they would compete each other. Both Grab and Gojek are involved in a tug of war between them and Gojek has boosted their strength by merging with a well-known e-commerce company Tokopedia forming Goto. This surely puts Grab in a tight spot, so Grab must find ways as much as they can in order to be the better piece. So, Grab recently received funds by merging with a spec company called Ultimeter and a few other notable investors. Ultimeter is basically the rich friend that you have that is going to give you money to boost your business. So, did the merge between Grab and their rich friend make profit? It is still too early to tell since it has only been a few months since they announced the news. Grab and their rich friend merging would also see that they would be listed in the US trade market. Eh hey Hussein, I know you were not asking. But do you know I was an OD practitioner in Grab? No, I don't want to hear it. I just heard about this Grab thing. Why won't you stop talking? Hi. No, 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 no. Bear with me on this one, Hussein. Certain things that caught my eye with this Grab issue is that it relates to what I did back then as an OD practitioner. The first one is organizational and multiple organization interventions. Did you remember Ultimeter? Yeah, that rich friend made a mutual agreement with Grab. After that, the rich friend has powers to fix or correct whatever necessary for the company. Both Grab and their rich friends needs to re-engineer the operation to expand their business development and seek solution. Secondly, it also relates with sustaining change evaluating and ending an engagement which OD practitioner do. Since Grab has very dangerous competitors like Gojek, 
they have to be able to sustain the change and look for solution. Ultimator, the rich friend, is the answer from Grab to fight back with their competitors. Simple math, more money, more business. The changes will have long-term effect in order to gain drastic changes. The changes also may be followed by active participants, HRM practices, and policy formalization activities. Lastly, the global issues of OD. Working culture of Grab has to be improved as different management may have ideas that are more universal. As you can see, whenever you are on the road, the riders tend to violate traffic laws to catch their delivery time. Riders of Grab are mostly from the Gen Ys and Zs. This shows the reason on why it happens. Oh, okay. Okay, Hussein, to wrap it up, Grab agreed to unite with investors to remain on top of the market. This merging also means that Grab will be listed in the US trade market where they will generate more income. Grab also has small business booster program which includes tools and initiatives to help with the process of digitalization. This is beneficial for both parties. This program aligns with Grab's long-term commitment to digitalize traditional and small business, so they will stay in the ever-growing digital economy. But then the interesting thing to say is, Grab has strategically planned with the Ministry of Transport of the Malaysian government to implement facial recognition technology to enhance their safety features when using Grab's application. Passenger-related crimes has been reported to drop by 30%, giving their driver partners peace of mind. Okay, Hussein, that is the end of my rant for today. <laughs> so, how was the presentation? Our vision is simple, driving Southeast Asia forward.